Okay, this is a uh, short video um, involving the installation of a HHO kit from Hydro Club USA. Uh, you're looking at a 2002 Ford F-150 with approximately 99,000 miles on it. Um, it's got a 4.6 liter V8. No other modifications other than a K&N air filter and a little bit uh, better exhaust system. Um, it's got a 4070 transmission in it and 3.55 rear end. Um, going over to the wheel well here, you'll be able to see the generator itself. It's down here bolted to the frame. Um, that was the best area for cooling. Also, you'll see the uh, relay switch and the holding tank. Plus, right here is mounted the shunt and all the wiring. And then right here by the uh, windshield washer fluid tank is the, uh, the water tank where the fluid is. It's hard to see, but it's right right here and um, there it's 12 inches apart from each other just like the specification said and uh, all the wiring is going into the inside of the cab of the vehicle um, going into the inside of the vehicle um, I've got everything mounted uh, the Effie is right here it's one that you can control inside the vehicle so that it's easy to do on the fly. These buttons here control all the input functions. Um, you'll notice that uh, right now it's running at math is uh, minus 90 millivolts and the oxygen sensors are running at plus 190 millivolts. I did originally have a Volo installed in it, but I was able to get around 18 miles per gallon. And then I got brave and got the uh, digital Effie and uh, was able to tweak it a little more. Um, I got it up to 20 miles per gallon on the road. And as you can see right here on my uh, my Kiwi monitor, I'm getting 1 point or 19.2 miles per gallon in the city. I've gotten as high as 20 on the road. I put in a boost gauge so that I'll be able to monitor the vacuum and find out when the vehicle has a load on it so that I can try to, to uh, maintain an even load on the vehicle. I also have an air fuel ratio gauge that's hooked right to the O2 sensors and you can see that it's monitoring the sensors now. And also right underneath here is the amp gauge that was part of the install kit with the shunt and you can see that uh, it's monitoring the amp which amperage very well. I have to keep it around 19 volt or uh, amps in order to get the proper um, amount of uh, hydrogen into the engine. Um, I also installed an aftermarket gauge on the engine which monitors the output of the HHO which you can see right now it's going up and down and it's saying I'm approximately getting 1.5 to 2 liters of O2 which uh, uh, of hydrogen which is perfect for this size engine. Uh, that's my install. Um, I, I highly recommend Hydro Club USA. Their equipment is superior to anything I've seen so far and it went exactly the way the instructions said it would in the book and it was very reasonably priced. My name's Art. Uh, if you want to contact me my email address is ART the number three at msn.com and I'll fill you in on anything that uh, I can help you with. Thanks for watching the video.